Coming up this week on Kings of the Rings podcast, our friend from Chicago, Smiley, joins us this week to preview the final stop on the Cody Rhodes to WrestleMania via Elimination Chamber. Also, can Sami Zayn pull off one of the biggest upsets in the history of pro wrestling? Who will be out no. in the lair face at WrestleMania? And what the hell did MJF say that may have caused a mini emergency on Long Island? So strap in, folks, and put on your puffiest red bottom boots, just like Seth Rollins, because it's Kings of the Rings podcast, <laughs> episode number 328. Put a smiley on exclusively on Wrestle Attic Radio, and it starts right now. Fucking love those shoes, though. Oh man, those shoes were the highlights of Raw. Yeah, the the Mario the Mario line is pretty good. Too. Yeah, my goodness, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kings Rings Podcast, episode three hundred and twenty-eight. We are going to preview Elimination Chamber. That's your host, King Ricky Rose, along with Willie T, and we have a special guest with us because it is the friends of the show, Aaron. This is a special guest. We would we would consider a Kings of the Rings Podcast OG. They've been with us before episode 100 they were with us in new orleans they got us crazy drunk in new orleans so much that i barely remember that night uh when we knew when we knew her she was presiding in in florida you know over in nxc country but originally from chicago uh literally one of the best people that we have ever met one of the only fans that we've ever met and stayed in contact with for this long because we know what happened to christina ladies and gentlemen yeah we'll just call her smiley we knew her as cm smiley but we are just going to call her smiley how are you hi hello hi everyone good to be back i haven't seen y'all since i was blanked out drawn down the street yeah it was great i saw any of y'all <laughs> That's like he said, I don't remember that night at all. He doesn't remember the night. I don't remember the night. I don't know what happened. Okay. That was <laughs> black. Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. You got us crazy hammered. So much that Dave exactly. had to wake us up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, that happened. That's, that was the kicker. We were so bad. Dave had to feed us water and was like, are you guys okay? No, Dave. We were not okay at all whatsoever um but it was a fantastic night so we're glad to finally have you back uh we thank you for keeping up with us for years at this point which is kind of nuts decade maybe a decade maybe a long time long time long time also i see the twitch chat um i'm not a floridian (laughs) i was only a floridian for like eight ten years i'm originally from chicago i am a chicagoan okay i was only floridian because i lived there but I'm from here. I'm from the north, okay? Not the south. They lost the war, okay? The war. <laughs> they did lose the war. They did lose the war. We won the war. That's true. That's true. That's true. You're, yeah. I will say, when we were, when Will and I were traveling um, to Chicago, you were a good help in, like, you know, telling us not to, not to stay or not to stop in Indiana, just keep going. And I, t- and I t- it. that was that was a state. Yeah. You know, I, I literally told That's that so story exciting. the other day too. But my friends flying to Wisconsin for yeah. work, and I was like, "Hey, man, be careful! The the, the clans all out there." And he didn't believe. Me. <laughs> I said, like, no, "No, no, no! We were driving to Chicago, and I told us not to stop in Indiana." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah, turning to Will. Indiana's yeah, I'm, Illinois is worse. Yeah, I remember turning to Will, and I was like, "Yo, we just gotta keep going until we get Illinois." He was like, "What?" I was like, "Smiley just told us it, there's a lot of sundown towns." He was like, "What's that?" I was like, "Just keep driving." <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what I didn't know what a sundown town was. That's kind of forgot the term until just two seconds ago. Yeah, but before we get started and everything, I need to we need to figure out some stuff here about you, Smiley. Um, so you told me, and this is a real fact, that you may be directly related to the former Queen of England. How? Yes, yes, I am. So basically, somebody on my mother's side of the family, he was a slave and had kids or whatever. And I descended that person all the way back to like medieval times. And I see one of the queen's cousins. And I'm like, this is the cousin of the queen. And they're in my family tree. 
holy crap, I'm really related to the queen, former queen of England because of slavery. Happy Black History Month. And that is your Black History Month (laughs) fact of the week. Will, how do you feel about that factoid? Eh, fuck the English, right? <laughs> fuck the Queen. I'm glad she's dead. <laughs> but I, I, I felt that way before she, Smiley told me the story. So you know what? <laughs> not, not, yeah, fuck her more, right? <laughs> oh my god, it is going to be a wild time. Like I said, folks, we are going to go into the Elimination Chamber uh, premium live event. The final stop on the Cody Rhodes to WrestleMania. And there's a reason I'm calling it the Cody Rhodes to WrestleMania because the Sami Zayn Rhodes to WrestleMania kind stops here uh but before we get to that obviously like share subscribe leave us some five star reviews uh buy some merch smiley you have been with us for way too long not to have your own kings of the rings or willie t I merchandise know, i know i've been flying or king ricky rose merchandise actually i did i actually no, no no i had a king ricky rose shirt what the hell happened but it's still in it's still in storage in my grandmother's uh garage because i had like a shit ton i had like years of stuff from florida and i couldn't bring it to this house because there's not enough room for all my shit so hey, it's still in my is brand new. garage yeah that's tapis- <laughs> that tapestry is brand it's, new it's comfy it's only like 40 bucks it's like five by five by six yeah no it's good stuff buy it, it probably will go to my dog because my dog loves my blankets and she will take over anything listen that I have. we can we do have bed we sheets. have bed sheets <laughs> listen we can design some dog related merchandise actually so oh, don't tempt me. I will no, do no, it. We need Ricky. Oh we God. need uh. We need dot. We need KOTR doo doo bags. That would be great. Yes. Shit <laughs> bags. My dog will model all the stuff. I will. I will well, I can. Even though she's not around anymore, she's all in the front room. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll make it happen in some way, uh, shape, or form. So the link to all of our great stuff, uh, where you can follow us, our merchandise is in the description below from this video or from his audio if you're listening to us. So before we get into Elimination Chamber, let's talk about MJF causing one of the biggest stirs on Long Island and quite frankly <laughs> making marks on Long Island look absolutely horrible. I once had no, no, in, in Long Island. No, no, don't you, don't you, More. don't you start, sir. <laughs> don't you, don't you start with that raggedy <laughs> in Long Island you bullshit. Continue. You went to school on Long Island. You know better. I'm pretty sure I say on Long Island. In Long Island, this sounds stupid. It does stupid. sound really stupid. It just sounds dumb. On Long Island, this just sounds more cultural. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah, so Smiley, do you want to take this over because... Yeah, please yeah. explain that. I, I vaguely know what happened. Okay. So when I I watched this live, by the way, so I was mildly confused. I was just like, did he just okay? So he had a match. We're backstage, and he's cutting his promo, and he's talking about how he had this girlfriend who was black. I I'm sorry to say she was black, guys. Y'all keep <laughs> saying it was Liv. Listen, no, Liv's not black. Liv's not black. Wait, brown, everyone thought it was Liv brown. Morgan. She's from New Jersey. She's not from, she's not from Long yeah. Island. I mean, she she could have passed for a Long Island chick. And also, you know. <laughs> yeah. If you told me it was Carmella, I would have believed Yeah, you. that's true. Yeah, I would have believed it. But yeah, like, so they're like, I mean, he was like, oh, let's call her Liv. And everyone's like, oh, Liv. And I'm just like, oh, that's oh, hilarious. That's why. That's hilarious. That's He's why. Like, let's call her Liv. <laughs> 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 What a heel! What a heel! Live must be livid. No pun intended. So he goes on to say how they were in the haven drinking. He had been drinking, and wait, wait, hold on, time out, time out, Smiley, time out, time out. You're telling me a white guy was getting drunk in the Hamptons? Go figure. (laughs) Go figure. Hasn't happened to anybody who's ever been to Bordy Bond, but continue. Please. He gets behind the wheel of a car and he has his girlfriend in the passenger seat and they're driving and she is helping him drive, helping him while he's driving. Let's just say that. Of course. Helping everybody needs everybody needs driving. a side seat driver, of course. Helping. Helping. S- <laughs> Y'all, sometimes you need assistance. What can I say? Say it on the stream. <laughs> Say it on the street without getting your bands on. Yeah, go for yeah, it. Go right ahead. We don't get that many viewers, anyways. Come on. <laughs> You're on Twitch. I'm not trying to get y'all banned from Twitch. Y'all know they are not W friendly. So I, I, I got it. I got it. Ready? I got it. Let me find it real, real quick. Let me find it real quick. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Blow job. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there Continue. I didn't want to get y'all. <laughs> so 
she's doing that. And he is enjoying it so much that he's not watching the road. And so when he finally does see the road, they crash into a telephone pole. Miraculously, he lives. Uh, he wakes up. He's bleeding from the head. And the girl next to him is unconscious for what he said. Look at that She's titty, unconscious. though. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. So he keeps going. And then he says, like, five minutes later, he takes her unconscious body. Or what? Not unconscious. Like, like he said, lifeless. He says, I take her lifeless body, put it in the front, and put it in the driver's seat. And he gets into the passenger seat, so it makes it feel like she did it. She's the one who killed her, killed, got into an accident, killed her, and then also made him, you know, be in the accident. Ladies, is he Tony Soprano? Ladies and gentlemen, this is how colonialization used to work. Colonialism, not colonialization, oh colonialism. God, I just freaked out. Watching, I'm like, did he just admit that he did a DUI and that he may or may not have killed somebody? Yo, I heard what? people called Nassau County or Suffolk County Police. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I heard too that they called over 500 times because they believed it. My God, Marks. My God. I mean, I I don't know what to say about it. What is wait, wait, wait okay, hold on. What does this story have to do with the wrestling match? That's my first. That that is my question. Right, well. Like, what, what is the context of this storyline here? Like, like, is it, like is, it, is, it, is, it is this a blowjob like Sunday match? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was just like, you know, like, uh, <laughs> like, like, oh, like, she's a loser or something like that, and, like, he's the best or something like that. I was just like, that made zero sense, and he kind of just admitted to doing a DUI, he may or may not have murdered a girl, but. Okay. I don't know. How, I don't know how getting away with potential murder makes you a better heel. Although, in in his defense, worked for OJ and Ray Lewis. Oh, <laughs> so, I don't know if that's a good example. Listen. Ricky. Oh well, Ray Lewis didn't become a heel. He became one of the biggest baby faces in the history of the NFL. So, but yeah. yeah. And so it seems like it always happens to the Spanish yeah, guy. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much is exactly <laughs> how that goes. But yeah, also I'm very confused. What did this have to do with his with being a heel and being the champion, which no one has been talking about anywhere for a long time, ever since he got the championship. And also turned it into a really ugly shade of brown. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. I, I would, the, like the 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 hotness of MJF and how he might be the next big thing has very very drastically dwindled in the past couple of months. It's 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 pretty bad. Anywho, it's weird. Yeah. It is it is weird. Like I don't understand. Like isn't he in a few with Daniel Bryan? Yes. Or Brian Brian Danielson. Yes, he is. <sighs> okay. Cool. Yeah, that, that should be. I also, I also heard that people were upset because, like, he's doing a car accident promo this, like, a month after the Briscoe guy died, which is just like, uh, sh- shut up. It is a <laughs> little bit of poor can... timing, but eh, I, I, I get it. Yes, it, it really, it really is because that Mark, because everyone knew. If you didn't know Mark, you didn't meet. Is that the right? Oh my God! Did I just mix it up? Did I just mix up? Let me just go about it. It was Jay that passed away. Yeah, yeah I'm it's, like, oh, it's, it's, it's it not. It's own. not like he was like she was driving like Jay Briscoe. Ooh, it's like he didn't reference it. It's like you're you're, you're connecting two dots that don't need to be connected. Like you're connecting two dots on two different. This pages. is a classic correlation. Of, fan, this though. is a classic yeah, correlation yeah. does not equal causation. So it's like, I I I, so I get I get that it's, it's a stretch, but like, I get it. But it's just like, bro, two different chapters of the same book. Yeah, no, it, it it is a bit of a stretch. I think they were probably all marked out. Oh, what's going on, Big Hirsch? Um, shout out to more black people in the chat. Hey, what's going on, Big Hirsch? Uh, uh, Fretz, <laughs> we, we, Fretz, we still got you and me, buddy. You're, you're, yeah, you're you're outnumbered <laughs> on this month, motherfucker. Oh, no, again. <laughs> Ricky, quick, get some food. It'll be a cookout. <laughs> no, you, no, no, it's not one you're invited to. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it 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 seems we're not gonna understand how people would be upset because Jay Briscoe just died. They had that Jay Briscoe tribute, blah 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 blah. But it just it it's just weird. It's just a weird promo that people took way too seriously. 
that that's that's what it that's what it boils down uh, to. Gotta love the internet, especially with wrestling fans. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the worst. Moving you know, on, they're the worst. Work. Yeah, moving on. So also, this just got announced before we did the show this afternoon. Tony Khan said Ring of Honor is going to bring is going to be coming back with weekly television. Will, how excited are you? It, what streaming service am I not going to buy? It's going to be on the Honor Club streaming service that Ring of Honor already created years ago that no one really buys or Woo! subscribes to. Yeah, I never hey, never bought it. You see that logo, to. Ricky? That you put up there. It looks like it was made in two thousand seven. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I cool. do like it, though. More weekly television I'm not going to fucking watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's already too much wrestling on during the week. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Like, you really think I'm going to know? Yeah, no. what, what, what day are they going to be on? Tell me why it's... Sa- okay, honestly, what they should do? Saturday morning. Saturday? Says, like a God, Saturday morning cool. cartoon? Yes, this Ring of Honor. It's just Camp WWE on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Called Camp ROH. It's just Chris Jericho yelling at himself in a mirror. You are right, Taekwondo. This is a logo begging for Hot Topic. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, ring, the Ring of Honor acquisition has been just they got They so... got to sell Honor rings. It's like a purity ring. It just says Honor. honor. <laughs> <It's been really laughs> so, so every wrestler can have a Ring of Honor on them while they wrestle? I love it. I love Ugh. it. We have just yeah. we have just made the Ring of Honor acquisition that much more beneficial if they all have to wear honor rings. That's Damn, dude, I'm actually I'm actually a little surprised. And all ta- and honestly, though, I'm actually surprised Tony Khan couldn't get a TV deal for this, or even like an actual streaming deal. Like nobody sees value in this. I understand that you know inflation, recession, sure, companies com- mergers and acquisitions are happening, and companies are cutting profits and employees and AI and all that fun stuff. But nobody was interested. In Ring of Honor, the library, nobody. You know what it was. You know what it was. I think actually, uh, they're saying that Tony Khan couldn't get a TV deal because I remember. I remember the last time I did AEW negotiations. They were they got that extra. They got that extra time slot or an extra show slot, and they they made that rampage. Yeah. So what happened there was they. Uh, uh, here's the what I heard, what I heard from the wire. Mm-hmm. They they wanted a third hour of, of dynamite, and they instead they compromised on rampage. Yeah, and I don't... Which I think is the right call, to be honest. Sure, which is fine. And I don't think... I don't think Tony Khan is willing to replace Rampage with Ring of Honor. Right, I no, agree. No, there's no way. And uh, to Fred's idea of a YouTube deal, what kind of YouTube deal? YouTube doesn't have that kind of... Part, like, I don't think they have that kind of exclusive partnerships. Like, they would need to go to an yet, Amazon. No. Or or an Amazon, like an Amazon or uh, 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 an HBO. Like the, or like like WWE to Peacock. I think those kind of deals are years away. Yeah. Because you know, say what you want about cable cable TV. Cable is still king because that's where the money is. Mm-hmm. Look how good. And, look how good the Super Bowl did this year. Right. Right. But you know, I, even though I watched it on Hulu, but yeah. it's still Hulu cable. Yeah. But once you see those cable deals dwindling, <laughs> which, which I which I think is why Vince wants to sell WWE. Because you're never gonna get a higher price than right now. Than right, than right now. Yeah. Because he sees the future. Cable's gonna be dead by the time by the time he dies. Yeah. So it's like, why sell WWE now? Because it's oh, it's inflated. First of all, the price of WWE is inflated. Whereas as the much of the billions of dollars it's worth, it's it's more worth that much because because of the cable deals. Yeah. Without cable deals, it's not worth half as much as it's worth. So sell it now. Yeah. It's, it's just it's just proof of con- it's just proof because we ain't gonna get a TV deal and Tony Khan's gonna struggle to get a TV deal with uh, a dynamite. Yeah, he is, he is, and it's uh, it's a shame because I I I want Ring of Honor like it's I, I would want Ring of Honor just for that library no 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 for the library at least that library is amazing. Oh. Yeah, no. Absolutely amazing, and the fact that they're not doing more with it is is a shame. But they also might be victim, like you said, will of the market and circumstance. Yeah. So. Yeah. But let's move on from that. Let's go to why we're actually all here and why we brought in Smiley. Of course, we are here to predict the last stop on the Cody Rhodes to WrestleMania. Uh, Elimination Chamber stemming live from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, which I hear is a lovely place, depending on what Canadian you talk to. Sometimes they say it's an absolute shithole. Be it as it may. (laughs) 
For, uh, Fretz, give us a uh, one to ten Canadian Leafs. How how awesome? Is it? <laughs> one to ten Canadian Leafs. How come that hasn't been a trope <laughs> on this show earlier? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes not that clever. <laughs> that one's pretty good. <laughs> the scale of one to ten Canadian Leafs. We got... <laughs> from the coding, the K. It's Reverend Rhodes, oh. like he was. Um... Reverend Rhodes. <laughs> Fretz, it's fair. That's not a number. A lovely city isn't a number between one to ten. Yeah, we need we need a, <laughs> we need a couple of leaps here, Fretz. Um... I, I need I need a, you need to dumb it down for me. Yeah. What I what I love about this is that so i've noticed the trend that wwe is doing now and making these events bigger so now there is literally a superstore for ever pre for every premium live event so the elimination chamber has their own superstore for merchandise and everything but here's the best part about it since we're in montreal quebec canada uh mostly <laughs> that that's, that's a very bilingual and french-speaking part of canada so the superstore is in french oh interesting it's like it's like la boutique super or something like that I was like, wow, wow, good job, good job, WWE. So they have a lot of elimination exclusive merch. We're not going to talk about any of that merch because I saw nothing that was even worth my time, to be completely honest. What I do want to talk about... If you're dying, Kenny was spot at the nearest Tim Hortons. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> don't sleep on Timmy Hose. That is a great fucking meal, okay? Tim Hortons is a, is a fucking godsend, I will tell you that. Um, but let's go to what we're all here for and what we're going to talk about the most. The main event, it's not an Elimination Chamber match, it's the main event because Elimination Chamber matches don't deserve the main event, even if it's called the Elimination Chamber Premium Live Event. <laughs> <laughs> the main event of this is going to be a heartstopper and a heartbreaker between Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn for the undisputed WWE Universal World Heavyweight Championship, whatever they're calling it. Smiley, I will defer to mm -hmm. you. How badly will Sami Zayn get close to dying in Montreal? Very much. Like, he's going to get <clears throat> demolished in his hometown. In front of his, I wouldn't be surprised if they have his family front row to watch it. <laughs> I would not <laughs> be surprised. Yes. If they call his wife. And if they call his wife or Kevin Owens' wife, because apparently they're all like buddy buddy best friends. So I wouldn't be surprised if they call up his wife and be like, hey, come to the show, be front row, and you'll be crying and all that. You know, the extra for the act. Yeah, Will Tarasak. How how, how extra is this going to be? By the way, Fred says you would love Montreal due to the amount of strip clubs that there are. Hell yeah. <laughs> now you're talking. Um, yeah, this match is going to be something special. I think I'm very much excited for it. Um, yeah, I, I agree with Taquan. Apollo is saying he's gonna get his brain clocked through his ears. It's it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be great though. I'm gonna just eat my pizza and cry myself to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, listen, they they've been promoting this like crazy. Sammy Zayn was at the Montreal. Oh, wait, it's on Saturday, right? It is on Saturday. Saturday. Do not forget it is Saturday, February 18th. Oh, shit. Which is yeah. Remember, it is the, it is the same day as <laughs> Mercedes Monet's match. In New Japan against Kairi Sane. And it's the uh, same uh, day, same time. Wow. I'm going to wow. have to watch it on Monday or Sunday night. It is also the same day and night as NBA All-Star Weekend, which a la dunk contest. And I always kind of want to tune in to see if there's anything entertaining on that. But I'm going to watch Sami Zayn get his ass beat by Roman Reigns. And let me tell you, Roman Reigns yeah. has been absolutely ruthless. If you don't believe me, follow him on TikTok. He made like one video. He already he had like a million people following him. I was like, he made one video. Listen, he is one. God mode at another level. He's 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 greatness on a different level. He that is that is a real thing. This man made one tick this man said one TikTok. It's like, hey TikTok, I'm here. Over a million followers instantaneously. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting. Here's how I think the match is gonna go. Roman's gonna beat him down. It's gonna be it's gonna be classic wrestling psychology. Roman's gonna beat the shit out of him. Sami Zayn's gonna keep on fighting back. Gonna keep on. He's never going to give up, essentially. And then at one moment when you think it's all over, Sami Zayn is going to have like a Hulk Hogan. Sorry, Smiley, but he's gonna have a Hulk Hogan like uh, ramp up and get the crowd to lose their mind. And it's gonna be one of the greatest false finishes in the history of wrestling. Sami Zayn almost winning in Montreal. Roman's going to kick out at like 2.99, and then the beatdown's going to happen after that. I don't know. Fred's made a good point, though. I, they have to let the Usos into Canada. They have DUIs. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
For real, though. We'll fight. That's a problem. They can't leave the country, apparently. They can't leave the country because of their DUI. So. Yeah. Especially Canada. Yeah, especially well, Canada. Well, no, they, on SmackDown. Canada don't fuck around with DUIs. I think on SmackDown, uh, Paul Heyman essentially talked them. Wrote him off TV. Yeah, wrote him off TV. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh yeah, just oh, okay. yeah. So I think they might be covered in that in that aspect, which is fine. Because I here's the thing: this story doesn't need the Usos right it now. It does. It's, Jay is okay right now, but yeah, Jay is very much a part of this. Story. No, Jay's a part of they a story. They can bring Solo. The, they can bring Solo. Yeah, they can bring Solo. Like, you, watch. He's gonna get, he's gonna get pulled over by the Mountie. <laughs> the Mountie comes and saves him. <laughs> yeah. I want it like all right. So like stupid, stupid Mark book, and I want this to be like an all Canadian affair. Like I want Lance Storm to come out and try to take out Rome. Like I want oh, I want Roman to bury all the Canadian superstars that they I can want the find. Ghost of, I want the <laughs> ghost of Stu Hart to wheel his ass down there. <laughs> Not the ghost of. You know what? You know what it is? Here's here's what can happen. And if this does happen, that's messed up to go on. <laughs> if this does happen, it'll be I'll laugh so hard. What if a Montreal screw job <laughs> Sammy <laughs> What if they Montreal screw job Sammy Zayn? What if what if Roman puts Sammy in the sharpshooter? Because I think the sharpshooter spot is going to happen because if Roman's a great heel, that's exactly what he'd do. Oh, it's going to. <laughs> Dude, if he, if he puts him in the sharpshooter, <laughs> that, that would be a great move. <laughs> On the floor, I would be like, what a... Mwah. Brilliant. I, I gotta piss off the crowd one on one. I want a sharpshooter Montreal-like screw job. It'll be the greatest. Yeah, Roman might what die. If Brett comes Roman out? might what die. If Brett, comes out? Brett, Brett does not want any of Roman. I could see Brett coming out of Roman spearing <laughs> Brett. <laughs> Breaks him in half. Superman punch his head falls off. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, I don't how you probably got nearly had this Nick. We're going to have nearly had this Brett. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I can I can see a lot happen. This is going to be an epic beatdown. I mean, Sammy has already played the broken baby face perfectly, especially with that promo uh, with him and Reverend Rhodes. Uh, what did you think about the <laughs> What you think about the righteous Reverend Smiley and his promo with Sammy Zayn on Monday Night Raw? I it made me emotional because any time Cody gets on the mic, I'm automatically just tuned in. Like everything else, I am ignoring because Cody just knows how to get you get you to watch him and listen to him like i don't know his promos are just oh god and they're just makes you want to get up and go i can do this and all this shit. like yeah like i don't know his, his promos are something his promos are it's good. one of those things that works with a wwe crowd okay. and not an aew crowd clearly yeah. <laughs> yeah. here's here's the thing what i i enjoyed about this will is that um Sammy comes out, he's hijacking the show, essentially, whatever, whatever, and he's like, I need to talk to Cody. Cody comes out, and literally, this is a Brooklyn crowd, by the way, and the crowd goes nuts for Cody. And I remember tweeting, you hear that, Sammy? That's why you're not main eventing WrestleMania. Yeah, dude, you got Brooklyn and not boo him. <laughs> yeah. Like, like if, if Brooklyn gave Cody a bigger pop than Sammy, then that's, that's telling you something. Yeah, that, that's huge. That's why they're going to Montreal because that's how Sammy gets a big pop. You're right, it's all down. No, no. Yes, yeah, right. Sammy gets his he gets his WrestleMania moment too, don't get me wrong. Yeah, no, like, he'll get just, that. It's not gonna be against he's gonna get his moment against Roman. He's not gonna win, but fuck him, he's not gonna win. He he's not he's not he's not a he's not a main event title holder like in this era of WWE. He's he's not. No. Um But here's here's the thing. But, he's but go ahead. he's gonna have a, he's gonna have a phenomenal moment at Chamber. He's gonna have a phenomenal moment at WrestleMania with Kevin Owens against the Usos. Yeah. So like I said last week, Sami Zayn's not going to be buried. Like, he's going to be very well taken care of. And isn't it funny that, like, about a little over a year ago, we were talking about how Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were both going to go to AEW. Yeah. And then they didn't, and look what happens. Yeah, and also, I was, I was, uh, I think Sammy was, I forgot Sammy if he was on either, like, <laughs> Murphy. yeah, my bad. <laughs> Sammy was on, I think, Chris Van Vliet or something like that. And he mentioned how he had been kind of petitioning Vince at the time to get to be in the program with Roman and it didn't really happen. And then, you know, obviously creative changed drastically and all of a sudden he got the opportunity and he, what his big thing was like, they, they allowed the, they allowed it to breathe and, and see what happens. It was supposed to be a three week story. Yeah. And it just yeah. continued and it continued and it continued. Yeah. They, they saw something and they, they ran with it and, and good on them. Yep. Good on that. And listen, this is the logical conclusion to the Sami Zayn chapter of the Roman Reigns 
story. It's a yeah. logical conclusion yeah. because here's you got to think big picture here, and we're gonna we're gonna go into a little bit of wrestling psychology here and, and storytelling in general. You have to make Roman Reigns, and you started it at Royal Rumble by. Oh, Ricky, we lost Ricky. Oh, let's see. Let's get me. Oh, there we go. No, no, I think he's still talking. He's still talking, but we can't hear there him. There we go. We're here now. Ricky! I'm here. There I'm we here. Are. I'm here. Okay. I, I, marked, I marked the audio. It's okay. We're back now. We're back. Tell your story. I'm going to talk my shit real quick. Um, yeah, I, I froze a little bit. I don't freeze. Um, but since you guys can all hear me. I'm never freeze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my black pampers in me. Um, well, you better watch Wakanda War forever. You have no excuse now. It's February. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. you have it's, it's, it it's a long, work. it's a long story. I got like sick. Twice. He got pink eyed twice. It was great. Go watch it. I got pink eyed twice because of fucking black because of, because of Black Panther. All right, Ricky, tell your story. Three, two, one. Yeah. So here's the thing with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns needs to look like the biggest monster in the world. And the only way that you do that is to make him um, essentially beat the shit out of Sammy. Sammy already looks like a great baby face that you want to have win. And you need Roman to decimate him. Completely and utterly decimate him. Um, so that he becomes the villain that everybody hopes to see. Correct. You know, and that's that's really what you got to do. For that, and that's what is going to happen as I'm messing with my own camera. So give me one second, guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll stall. I'll stall. For Actually, him. no, no, yeah, we can know, do that. Needs... Here's what we can do because I've already. He set needs this his up. heat, man. No, <clears throat> he needs his heat. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to straight to intermission real quick because I still have an intermission slide, duh, so that we can fix this. So we will be right back. Still the intermission slide. <laughs>
as you are now sideways, Smiley. Thank you. But we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that technical, a <laughs> little bit of technical difficulty. But anywho, as we were saying, Roman Reigns is going to decimate Sami Zayn. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I can't wait for it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's... I, I hope I boo this man. If no, I, I got I got a thing from Reigns. Listen, <laughs> listen. It worked in it worked in San Antonio at the Rumble. They got they got a fuck your Roman. We haven't screamed fuck your Roman since he we thought he retired the Undertaker. Yeah, it's been it's it's been a long time since we told anybody to fuck off in WWE. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was it was great. I was a part of that first ever fuck your Roman crowd. It was one of the best feelings in the world. To be completely honest with you, uh, but let's move on here because uh, we can talk about Sami Zayn dying. And honestly, if real quick, if 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 I can be serious for a moment, no pun intended, um, Sami Zayn's best work is when he gets his ass beat. Remember when Kevin Owens TKO'd him in NXT? Yeah, <laughs> it was beautiful. That was, that was fun. <laughs> absolutely beautiful made kevin owens seem like an unstoppable monster that's going to happen again but roman's going to drag it out except roman's already an unstoppable monster yeah yeah i think it was like december 2019 the last person to pin him was corbin wow yeah and you know you know what storyline that was was that when he was feeding him dog food? That was the dog food storyline, yes. <laughs> that was the dog food storyline. Um, anywho, moving on, folks, to what should be a WrestleMania match, but for some reason we're blowing our load early and putting this at Elimination Chamber. Uh, Brock versus Bobby 3, because you can just number the matches at this point. Yeah, it's going to be a brawl. No match. You think... You think you think this is you think this is a uh, bait and switch? Yes. I'm okay with that. It better go to Mania cuz th- there's no reason, no offense to Montreal, Quebec, Canada. There's no reason for this match to be on Elimination Chamber. Come on, Ricky. Obviously Brock's going to face Gunther at Mania. <laughs> duh. Und lieben Glauben Globen. I mean, duh. What's going to happen? No, I thought it was going to be... Come on, Ricky, don't you read Twitter? <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I do, unfortunately. Um, Fred, you do have a good point. It could be the fight pit at Mania. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Lion's the dead. fight pit on Extreme... Lion's dead. The fight pit at Extreme Rules was a very good, was a very well-designed match. Yes. When, yeah, it's a, it's a cage with no door and kind of a roof. And Daniel Cormier yoking people up. <laughs> yeah, DC like not really knowing what to, not really knowing what to do. It was fine, except I want I want DC to come back and do it with Brock and Bobby and just have Brock and Bobby just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, but like, re- DC would look really small in that ring. They don't respect him at all. <laughs> DC's a big yeah. Brock just hold a piece of paper again. <laughs> it, it, no, but it'd be striped it'd be like a paper ref. Yeah, paper ref, paper <laughs> champion. I love it. Um, I will say this. I love Brock Lesnar more and more as the weeks go by. This man showed up to Brooklyn with a cowboy hat with a feather in his cap. What a guy. (laughs) Begging Sable who does not never wants to appear on TV ever again. <laughs> Listen, I love me some Sable too. Oh, we can't hear Smiley. Don't worry, we will work on that right now. But keep talking, Will. <laughs> uh, no, I, I got it. I got it already on my recording. So it's not coming up here on the feed, but I can fix it. Oh, well, I can. I can see what you're working on here. The nice background of OBS. Yeah, cut. No, you're country, you're good. You're good, smile. We're working. Country, on. country, country. Brock's fun. I got no complaints with country Brock. Yeah. Uh, Sable needs to go in the Hall of Fame eventually. You know, before she dies. So I'm sure she'll get in there. And they're running out of women to put in. So. Dude, they haven't announced any Hall of Fame members yet. No, they haven't, which is kind of weird. Who are they? What? They kind of are they running out of people? Yeah. 
<laughs> they were all contracted AEW. <laughs> yeah. Or Red I mean, you still got you still got Rock, you still got Cena, you still got technically Batista. No, well, what, well, didn't Batista go in, but like not accept it or something? Yeah, he he didn't he didn't give a speech. He didn't like do none of that. Technically, he is then. Uh, Fretz, can you hear us? Yeah, you can. Really, Sid Batista, Bam Bam. Interesting. Oh yeah, Psycho Sid and Bam Bam. Of course, that's those are that's good. Do I love Psycho Sid? I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> he is such a moron. Yeah, so who do you bring in this year? Uh, I don't know. Is Daniel Bryan a Hall of Famer? Is he? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. He is? No, Daniel okay. Bryan's not in the Hall yet. Hall yet. Yeah, he could have been, but you fumbled the bag and let him go. <laughs> Sasha could have been, but you fumbled the bag, let her There we go. You, you got it. Got yeah, yeah, she's good now. Uh, well, he wanted to leave. That wasn't WWE's fault. He was going to leave regardless. Yeah, you know, Daniel Bryan was going to, because Vince wasn't going to make him do all that crazy shit, or wasn't going to let him do all that crazy shit anymore. And he wanted yeah. to go. I feel like I feel like if uh, Vince did let him do all that crazy shit, he still would have left. I yeah, so. I think he just wanted to go. He I, wanted I think, to go. I think D. Bryan wanted a challenge. He wanted something different. He wanted to work with these other guys. Yeah, which him and Mox were ready to go. They were ready to well, Get yeah, judging by Mox's book, no shit he was ready to go. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. I still have not read it. Like, I need to read it. I, I read, read the read excerpts. It. We're going to have we're gonna have a Mox super fan on here one day. Um, I know exactly who she is. I so tell us all it. about it. The Great Muda would also be a good one in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Even Miko Sadamore, she doesn't have that much time. Like, I know she's doing shit on NXT, but like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Her in, or, or to actually hear something. I know... I know, but Roman could just come out and be like, you know what, you don't need any Hall of Famers. Put me in. I'm the tribal chief. Just put me in there. I would love that, that actually. That's a him. great that's a great addition to fucking his character. Like he's a tribal chief, even though he hasn't been in WWE long, like he's done enough. And so he said, I'm putting myself in the Hall of Fame because I'm the tribal chief. And then all the family comes out, and then somehow, some way, the Rock gets there. I don't know. That's how you set up a future match between him and the Rock, and you know, yeah, you get the Rock like yeah. seven years to get ready, and then he goes in. You know, it works Wait, out. I'm not Hall no, the Rock's not a Hall of Famer, is he? No, not yet. Not yet. He will. What? Be. They haven't put him in yet. The Rock, well, his schedule, I yeah, guess. Yeah, the, Rock, the Rock's about to launch the XFL on Saturday, which is also happening on Saturday as well. XFL 3.0. It's going to be a the great X fucking the Saturday. The XFL is back again? Yeah, The Rock again? bought it. What a, what a oh, birthday no. weekend I got coming up here. <laughs> you have XFL, you have Elimination Chamber, you have NBA All-Star Saturday night. You've got a lot wow. of shit. Wow. Jazz and I are also going to see Titanic on, in the movie theaters on Saturday. Oh, Who wants to go see Titanic again? Listen, it's, it's my favorite. It's my favorite movie. It's in 4K. Yeah, it's. I don't know why it's your favorite movie, but whatever. I don't know um, either. That's weird. <laughs> all right, let's let's move on to more wrestling stuff. The U.S. title is on the line um, with Austin Theory, aka Young Rock, essentially, because he's in his young Hollywood Rock phase. Uh, yeah. <laughs> versus Bronson Reed, everybody's resident thick boy, because it is thick boy season. Whenever Bronson Reed shows. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, Montez Ford, who is going to frog splash the living shit out of that cage. Um, Damian Priest, because you gotta you gotta have somebody who sounds like Scottie Pippen, and the drip god himself, Seth freaking Rollins. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first match that shows that starts Elimination Chamber, but I'm actually very excited for this. Um so here's the thing. This is a this is a good lineup. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. Well, does Austin Theory come out of here alive? Yes, I, mean, I. Yes. Oh, well, actually. Oh, but he's still gonna be a champion, unfortunately. No, I'm gonna say no. Mm. Well, okay. Here's the thing. The Seth. The Seth drop it to Logan Paul at WrestleMania. Stop it! Stop it! You, stop you, it now! You shut your whore stop mouth! It now. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Shut, shut your whore your mouth. Whore I'm just mouth saying, will. man. If Seth wins this, because him and Logan is the match, I can't see anyone else winning this title other than Seth Rollins. 
And I would not mind him versus Logan Paul being for the U.S. title. And, uh, and I, I do think Theory is going to go against Cena, which doesn't need the U.S. Why does Cena need the U.S. title? That's stupid. He doesn't. So Theory needs to drop. So give it to Seth because Seth's great with it. And Seth versus Logan Paul makes that match a little more interesting. It's a little less predictable who's. It's a little, a little less predictable who's going to win. And I wouldn't mind seeing Logan Paul with that title. <laughs> it would, it would implode WrestleMania, which I'm actually all for. Uh, you know what, dude, Ricky? Those headlines. Logan Paul, internet like self-made social media influencer. Logan is Paul the, is the champion of the United, of the United States, States of, America. of America. Yep, yep, knew it. Stop it. I will hate everything. <laughs> He's America's champion, dude. <laughs> Listen, everything. honestly, his biggest side plates is fucking energy drink. KSI. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. From a business perspective, that's a that's a great move. That's a great move. Yeah. It's better than Patrick Mahomes getting the WWE title immediately after winning the Super Bowl. Dude, that could have been one from two years ago. Who knows? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you know what I mean? True. That's what I that's what I thought. No, but like, no, thought, you can tell thought... you can tell by the leather on the strap, it's brand new. It's brand new. Mm-hmm. So you know what? Triple H probably someone to each beforehand. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just created side yeah. plans. Yeah. Is, is, is uh, uh, t- just in case. Yeah. It's the magic. The- what do you, do you think? Do you think you reach out to Philadelphia? It's like we're gonna need that back. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we're gonna win. Probably. It's the magic of three D printing, and it's made everything better. But back to this yeah. match. Um. If if not Seth Priest. Judgment Day needs something. Smiley, who do you got? Yeah, for Judgment this? Day needs something, right? I mean. I can't imagine what we're going to see. What Priest could do at WrestleMania? Other well, then again, if Priest wins it, like who's he going to go up against? Because Edge is going against going against Finn Balor. We're going to the U.S. Champions have to do a run in. That sounds stupid too. It does. You have two days of WrestleMania. You can find a spot for all of your champions. But Smiley, who wins this for you? Uh, much as I don't want him to, I think Theory is going to walk away from this still champion, barely, but champion. I might. I want Montez to win. I really want Montez to have a title finally that's not a tag championship. I want him to have his own title, but I think Theory, unfortunately, will walk away with this fucking title, but barely. Barely Ricky, did, you, did you hear back from WWE Shop, by the way? Oh, yeah, I did. I do have to get to you on that. I, oh, you probably didn't know, Smiley, if you didn't follow us on Twitter. I tweeted at WWE Shop directly on Monday about the idea of, um, and I've been saying this for fucking weeks, uh, and I took, I finally took the leap and finally tweeted at them of doing custom Street Profit jerseys. <gasps> yes, I want one so bad. Give it to me. <laughs> I, I'd buy one. This is your. I don't buy WWE merch, but I'd buy one. This is your proof, one. WWE Shop. I'm going to clip this and send it to them. This is your proof, WWE Shop. We need custom one, Street Profits merch. One, one. So ironically, I tweeted about it at WWE Shop. The fuck a charge per letter on the back. <laughs> yeah, right. And literally, <laughs> drew, this guy Drew, who works for WWE Shop, shout out to Drew. You are now a, a you are now slated to be our next Hall of Famer if you can get these merch merch done. Um, Drew literally responded to me. He was like, "DM me your idea." Essentially, is what he said. You better get paid for this idea. I better. You better get paid. I better. And so I DM'd the idea, and he was, they, they responded in the morning, and it was like, oh, good idea, blah, blah, blah. If you have any more ideas? And then he sent me a link to, like, send it through Fanatics, because obviously they partner with Fanatics. And literally, I know Fanatics makes custom jerseys because they do it for every other major sport. So this is an easy process for anybody to do. I'd be like, listen, listen here, Drew. All I want is 0.5 commission. 0.5%. <laughs> That's it. That'll work. One half of one percent. <laughs> That'll work. It's like it'll be like it'll be like ten thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> initially, <laughs> initially, and then it'll keep going. And I'll make more. <laughs> I need it. I want yeah. it. No, I would love Montez for. I know Bianca used to make a custom uh, jacket before she got called up. When she was in NXT, she would make custom Bianca jackets. Well, she would do her. She Bianca's always made stuff. Bianca made yeah, her own pl- gear. I wouldn't be surprised if Bianca. I wouldn't be surprised if Bianca makes their gear too. Like she was selling the, the jackets were like a hundred something dollars, and people were buying it. Yeah, I would. What do you? What do you think makes those custom uh, those jerseys for them? Because every single city they have one. She does. She does. Yeah, she makes it. it Bianca makes clothes when she went to. No, I, I mean anxiety. the street profits. Just street profits. The street profits jerseys. Yeah, she does. Makes I think okay. she does. Yeah, she likes to make clothes when she when her anxiety is high. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. See how that ass looks on Monday. God damn. <laughs> 
She was the real thick boy, my lord. Um, <laughs> she must have been real neighbor. She must have been real anxious about that jersey, <laughs> that outfit. Lynn, she does. Lynn, she does great work. Um, and she should, and she does. Good. It was so tight it could chop a fart. <laughs> Anywho, if anybody's gonna benefit from this elimination chamber thing, uh, elimination chamber match, it's gonna be it's gonna be Montez Ford, and it's also gonna be Jenica Gatt. Because if you look at this as a whole, you have. Two of the best wrestling psychology minds that in in the ring right now. You have Seth Rollins. Yep. You have Johnny Gargano, who just knows how to create an epic match out of nothing. Yeah. Yep. This man super kicked a skeleton during NXT Halloween Havoc, and it was one of the best pops of the night. Okay, that was pretty funny. I remember that. Okay, uh, Seth, Seth and Johnny have to start, right? I I would, yeah, I would make them start, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Montez Ford is going to be great. Bronson Reed is probably going to do a massive splash and almost kill somebody. And I'm here. Suit up, and I'm up. here for it from the, top of a, from the top of a pod. Yes. I know about Bronson. I know he recently had like a match or something like that, a house show, and he barely got any. crowd just went silent. Listen, they haven't, they haven't worked, they haven't used him well enough. Um, but this will be a great coming out part for him. Yeah. This, he needs to be reintroduced. Yeah. This is going to be great. And this is going to be good for Johnny, too, because Johnny hasn't had anything good besides the, the Dexter Loomis shit. He hasn't done shit. Yeah. I mean, there, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a finite amount of time in WrestleMania, but I think this is going to be good. This is going to be a very, very fun Elimination Chamber match compared to Here Come the Women, um, a.k.a. the Kana Sacrifice match, because Kana all these sacrifice. women because all these women are going to be sacrificed to Kana, aka Asuka, or formerly known as Asuka, because I'm never calling her Asuka, because that that face paint is a is Kana. Okay. And that's fun. I I've seen people on Twitter call her Dark Asuka. I'm like, it's Kana. It's just Kana, Kana folks. Like, no. Dark, Dark Asuka. Asuka. <laughs> wow, this Kana, elimination kidding? chamber is very predictable. Yeah. I wonder who's gonna win this one. <laughs> no Becky, no Bailey. Asuka's there. That's cool. Um. No Lacey Evans either. No, no Lacey yet. No, oh, thank God. Oh, is that Chelsea? God. Is that Chelsea Green on the left? No, but it's, no, that's Carmella. It's, that's Carmella. Yeah. And Chelsea, yeah. yeah, that's Carmella. Chelsea Green is too busy bitching at Adam Pierce every every show, which is actually really funny. It is. It is really funny. <laughs> it is really funny. From what I heard, from what I heard, her new character is she's a Karen. Yes, that's clearly that's what it is, character. and it's great. She's a Karen, and I'm just like, uh. You were a Karen on the Indies. Like, girl, I don't need to see it on TV. Like, uh. Charles, it's not a story that Jedi would tell you. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I didn't like you when you were at GCW with your husband. I don't like you now. Like, it's a start, girl. Listen, Darth Oscar the Wise. That's very good, Charles. That is very good, Darth Oscar the Wise. Um, no. Oscar slash Kana is going to. Destroy. Natty's going to get a great pop because, duh, Canada, and you need a Canadian representation yeah, in this Canada, match. Canada. She's going to come out in all her dad's gear, sunglasses, jacket. Yeah. Beard. Beard. <laughs> all of it. I would not be surprised if Brett walks her to the ring. I would not be surprised. Listen, Brett's got some. Brett, Brett needs to get a steps in, so I, I, I can understand if Brett would come out for this. Brett's going to go, is Goldberg here? <laughs> No, we're good. All right, <laughs> we're good. Okay. <laughs> no, this is totally predictable. I, although, fun fact: Liv Morgan has been in the most women's elimination chambers in history, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I here's here's my prediction. I think Liv Morgan and Asuka or Kana actually are going to be the last two, and yeah. Liv's going to die. Yeah, Liv's going to die. She's going to get her face. It's going to be. Uh, have all the mist because you know Kana's gonna bring back the mist, or I don't know because I know we can't do like the blood stuff she used to do back in Japan, so it's gonna be like the color blue, like she did uh, when she had a rumble, yeah. They were Carmella, she had like the blue, blue coloring mm-hmm. thing come out of her mouth, and I'm like, oh, that's supposed to be blood, but we can't use blood because. So, so here, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do with this right now. Um, I hope, I hope Liv gets eliminated first. I, I love Liv, and Liv is a great lovable loser, but. There is something about when she gets beaten down and she's all like kind of just sweaty, but like so she's like, "Come on!" and like going nuts, um, like that because she has a knack for looking great during Extreme Rules matches. When she gets her ass beat, this will do wonders for her. Like she's a she's a good loss, which is weird to say. Yeah, she is. 
but I really yeah. do not need uh what what is what is that girl's name um uh, the tall one the tall oh, Raquel. one whose gimmick is my back yeah my back girl yeah who cares big mommy cool. um. <laughs> the big mommy cools what we used to call her in NXT until they made her smile too much on the main roster. I, yeah, how, I, I, how I she like sucks. I, I don't like her and I don't like her boyfriend. I definitely don't like her gimmick. Her gimmick is I smile like, oh, look at my back. I'm strong. Like, see, it worked when she was a badass in NXT I and mean, they totally made her smile. They gave her the Apollo Crews treatment, which was a bad move. <laughs> yeah, at least her gimmick isn't, hey, I'm also Spanish. <laughs> 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 no, they do that during uh, Spanish Heritage Month. Then they were running one. Hey, y'all know Raquel Spanish, right? <laughs> Here's here's the best the best thing with Raquel when they did I remember NXT did a presser like a lot of year or so ago and it's back when well more than a year ago it's back when Cross was um champion they did a presser before one of their big events and uh, they had they had Spanish press there or or press from a Spanish speaking country I'll say I'll put it better that way and what was good about it is that Raquel who is naturally bilingual answered the question in both Spanish and English and that's a great use of the fact that oh she's Spanish and that's not something you throw out to the world like that. You, know, you don't force her to do that. She has speak spoken. Hey, Matt Ritter's here from Smack It and Roll. Um, she has spoken in Spanish during some of her promos, but like it's it, it's something it's not something that they're forcing onto the audience, which I think is a very positive thing. She just needs to stop smiling and just start killing people. Like that's what she needs to do. I just don't want her to see her do the look at my back thing again. That it got old. Real quick, I'm like, okay, girl, we get it. You're back, okay. What else? Baby's got, got back. <laughs> so she don't got a front, boring. so she got She already back. has somebody about like lips, weights, and eat steaks in her life, so she doesn't need anything else. The Mansoor Saudi push. <laughs> she does need the Mansoor Saudi push. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but no, she's gonna be sacrificing everybody else to Kana. Kana will go to face Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. And honestly, I want to see that all day, every day. Yeah, I, I need to see that. If we're not going to... Bring me Kana. Yeah. Full Kana. Full Kana. If we get to see full Kana, WrestleMania, this is just half Kana, and we get the full Kana experience at WrestleMania, give it to me. Yeah, because we're not, we're not getting Charlotte and Bianca, which I think is a massive misstep, but this is the next best thing. Maybe. Here's I, don't the thing. Really, maybe I don't really care maybe about we, Charlotte. And, uh, Rhea, to be honest. Maybe we get that at SummerSlam a backlash. No, SummerSlam. Don't, I don't you dare say that. WrestleMania backlash. We get that match. God, no. Um, but yeah. No, SummerSlam. What do they say for, for SummerSlam? But SummerSlam, I will be there because, again, it's in Detroit. SummerSlam is in Detroit. And that's a five hour drive from my house. So I'll be there. Love nice. You. We will go to your house and you will drive us the five hours <laughs> to, to SummerSlam in Detroit. <laughs> You know, me staying at a fucking casino, so. Listen, that's fine with me. I, I need some extra money in my <laughs> life. So, let's move on uh, to, hey, there's a tag match featuring a Hall of Famer and someone else from Canada. Uh, we have Edge and Beth Ooh. Phoenix versus Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley, which is just going to be a fun match. Um, I'm going to count the number of times uh, Edge tries to slap his wife's ass on national TV. Which would be a great counter because you know he tries to slip one in there every time they're on TV. Every time, <laughs> every time makes her mad. Every time. Don't blame him. Um, she has a good sense of humor about it most of the time. <laughs> most, most, most of the time. Of the time. You, Beth is a, is a professional. She likes to be a professional. But you, you slap her ass, she's gonna be. Like, oh please! You know Edge gets pegged. At home. <laughs> I have no counter to that, really. I have no counter to that at all, yeah. to be completely honest with you. You know, you know what? You know it's true. Yeah. So this is also going to be this is also going to be a pretty interesting match. This will obviously set up Finn and Edge at Mania, I believe. Um, I believe, yeah. And Beth is just going to be Beth because she's here for a one-off. Clearly here yeah. for a one-off. She got bored at home. She got bored at home and said, you know what? I can do some moves. Let's go. Yeah, Beth, Beth's one of those people. Like she, Beth could still wrestle in this day and age. And be good yep. at it. You know what I do miss, Will? Um, do you remember Beth on NXT? Commentary. Yeah. Yeah, she was good. She was fun. I, every time I think Beth on NXT, I remember her with um, with MSK. And they were eating popcorn. Yes, eating the popcorn. <laughs> yes. 
So she was way better than Renee Young at commentary. Yes, because she, because she, because Beth wrestled. <laughs> yeah, also probably because Renee had Vince in her ear. That probably was really hard. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I've heard Vince is a is a crazy person. You gotta smile. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 it's kind of wild. It's yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, dude, oh, cool. so I, I think Edge and Beth win this. You got to get the hometown something, right? Yeah, they got to get something. They got to get something. They're going to go full Canadian shit, with this course. one. Yeah. They're going to go full Canadian. Full blown Canadian. Yeah, I, I, here's the thing before we get to the final match. Uh, no, this is, no, this is the final match that we have here so far. How many sharpshooters do we see during this during this premium live event? Will Tarasak, how many? God, dude, way too many. <laughs> okay, no. I, I hope I hope they save it just for Roman. I would. It's like, sorry, sorry, Natty, no sharpshooter for you. <laughs> uh, Smiley, how many sharpshooters do we see during this premium live event? I'd say we get about eight sharpshooters and maybe one of the. Ooh, what was Brett and her dad's tag team? I can't think of their name right now. Uh, Heart Dungeon. No, the uh, Heart Foundation. Foundation. Heart Foundation. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like we're going to set that up and it's going to be Natty to do it. So we're probably going to get one of those. All right, no, Ricky, I got it. I got it. We're going to have we're gonna have um, one sharpshooter and then nine of whatever Sting's move was called. The Scorpion, Scorpion Deathlock. Oh, yes, Sting. Yeah, Scorpion Deathlock. We're going to have nine of those. Yeah, Corey, Corey Graves is going to be like, that's not the sharpshooter. That's the Scorpion Deathlock by some other guy. <laughs> some like, other guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Some grandpa made this move. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be good. Um, so, yeah, I think Edge and Beth will win it for the Canadian crowd because Sami Zayn's going to break everybody's heart. Wow, yep. you, guys, you, guys are some, you guys are some assholes in the chat. <laughs> yeah, you guys are assholes. Fred I says, Fred says we're going to get 10 okay. sharpshooters. Charles says we're getting 14. <laughs> I'd say about seven or eight. I'd say about seven or eight sharpshooters. No, here's what we're, we're going to get one sharpshooter from Roman. We're going to get a double sharpshooter from Natty because that's what Natty does randomly. Yeah, Natty does. Yeah, does. double sharpshooter from Natty. Edge and Beth are going to sharpshooter the both of them, and then somehow we are going to sharpshooter each other. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to kiss. <laughs> Carl Malone. There's no Carl Malone. Stop it. Um, but yeah, so that's Elimination Chamber. I'm excited for this uh, for the most part. Uh, but the big question is, Smiley, since you are the guest returning on our show, how many crowns, how good will this premium live event or pay-per-view be? One being the worst thing you've ever seen, ten being the best in crowns. So one to ten crowns, how good will this Elimination Chamber premium live event be? Seven. I give it seven crowns. Because somehow, some way, the women's match is probably going to piss me off. Yeah, probably. Uh, well, Terror Shock. I'm going to agree for the exact same reasons. Seven. <laughs> I'm going to do some fuck shit to the women's match that's going to make me mad. It's not going to piss me off. It's going to make me yawn. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I'm going to be the optimist. I'm going to give it an eight. It's not going to be the greatest thing, but it's going to be a good... Here's the thing. I think Elimination Chamber is going to be a good primer for the main storylines coming out of it. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I think that's it's going to be a good primer. Like It's going to be... Roman and Sammy are going to highlight, and they're going to put on essentially a match of a year candidate, and it's going to set up the WrestleMania main event between Roman and Cody, which is going to be great. Uh, Kevin Owens gets involved in some way, shape, or form because Kevin Owens is not going to be that close to Montreal and not do anything, um, which I think that might set up, it might set up, you know, Kevin coming to Sami Zayn once Sami's, like, left bloody in the middle of the ring afterwards. Yep. If Sammy comes out to his old entrance music, his original I one, my mind. Oh, I will start ska oh, dancing in my in my apartment all over the place. Eight, <laughs> eight. I will be in my house. Minimum. I will be in this room just doing the dance. I will be so excited. Here's what's gonna happen: Sammy Zayn is going to Sammy Zayn is going to come out like he did the first time in Montreal and separate his shoulder when he's going up the ramp, going up the steps. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, That's exactly what's going to happen. Like he went up against Cena, he still pulled off a great match. <laughs> he did with a separated shoulder. Um, I think it's going to be good. I think the U.S. title match is going to be a good primer for whatever's going to happen there for two matches at least. And that's pretty much. Oh yeah, and Kana's going to face Bianca, so that'll be a good primer too. Yeah, it's 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 a two it's a two match card, so it's those two matches that have to really deliver. Yeah, and I think they yeah. will, especially if you book them, which I think is what you should do. 
Um, and it's going to be great. I am very excited for this, but I said I'm going to give it eight. It's going to be a good setup, and the best part about this is there is nothing else in the way between that and WrestleMania. It is just story building, story building, story building, which unless is what you need. Somebody gets hurt, unless somebody gets hurt in this weekend. Somebody gets hurt. Don't you dare put that out stuff. into the universe, Smiley. I'm not, but you know, <laughs> like Elimination Chamber and like Hell in a Cell, like anytime there's cell matches, somebody gets injured. Some boys gonna get the ass kicked. <laughs> Some boys gonna get the pussy whip. Some boys gonna beat get the ass kicked. It's a prick or something. Prick or something. Oh my god, that is actually a really great theme song. It's a good theme song to work out to, by the it's way. So ridiculous. <laughs> Fucking Mark Henry. It's a good theme song to work out to, I will tell you that. There's nothing like there's like, nothing like working out to WWE theme songs. Uh, it works. Or does, it, it does. Work. It's, it's a good energy boost. Until you get You are very flat on your stuff, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, that's pretty much all we have for this uh, for this show this week, and it was a great it was a great show. So thank you, Smiley, uh, for joining us on this show. Uh, obviously, you are more than welcome back. And when you do return, Smiley, we do need you in some of our Kings of the Rings merchandise. Damn it! Oh, well, definitely, because I'm not gonna go to this. I'll just get a new shirt because I don't feel like going. Garage hunting in my grandmother's garage when it's twenty degrees outside and it's fucking snowing. Listen, we have hoodies for that too. Our hoodies are one of the most comfortable things we've we've ever made. And while we're recording, someone bought a Fretzel Media uh, steel stainless steel tumbler. I wonder who did that. I can only, I can, I'll give you a three <laughs> guesses. Does this is his name begin with a J? That's a yes, Will. Yes. <laughs> yes, a yes, I had to think about it first. I was like, wait, I was like, Mr. Begin with M. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes, Will. That's a yes. Um, but yeah, no, you got to buy some of our merch. Um, I think I'm coming out with a new line of merchandise for my own personal site. Uh, but all of our stuff is in, in our shop below. We have a bunch of shit. You can buy tote bags, duffel bags for us. We can do everything. Uh, fucking, what is it, computer mats? Or desktop Condoms mats? Are Condoms are coming, too. <laughs> we're not we, we can't design condoms although we should we should find a way I'll, I'll definitely probably get a bag and a shirt because i'm gonna need a bag if i'm going to detroit for some of so well i think they just came out i think they just came out with like a, a a bigger like weekend bag or something i'll i'll figure it out i'll show you on the post i will work uh, i'll show you on the post or i'll link it to you on one of our stuff um so yeah, I'm excited for this. Uh, remember, it's this Saturday, folks. Elimination Chamber is this Saturday because all WWE events outside of WrestleMania will always be on a Saturday because that's just really fucking smart. Um, and you have a you, know, you have a break on Sunday, you know, the day of hangovers is usually what it is. Hangovers, yeah. Yeah. Hangovers. So I'll be watching it. Um, Smiley, you on PlayStation? Uh, no, I don't have a PlayStation. I have an Xbox. And I have a Switch. Oh, I have an Xbox as well, because um, I'm I'm just weird like that, and I had a lot of money from the panorama, aka the pandemic. So I'll probably be. I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching uh, probably on PlayStation with Charles actually. So if anybody wants to join in on our on our little shindig, you guys are more than welcome. Find me clearly out in Bachelor of the Base. But with that being said, we're gonna do the post show. So Smiley, are you, are you joining us for the post show too for a little bit? <laughs> of course. Oh, we're gonna do the post show. We're gonna do I all this fun shit. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Will, are you ready, sir? Yeah, I got All you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to Kings of the Rings podcast, Technical Difficulties and All, episode number 328, Put a Smiley on Our Good Friend, the Chicago Maid Smiley, CM Smiley, as we originally knew her, joined us to talk about Elimination Chamber and all the other random shenanigans that we've been through in life. Smiley, thank you for joining us. Obviously, find me at Ambassador Biggs across all social media outlets. Uh, find Kings of the Rings podcast at KOTR underscore podcast across all social media outlets as well. If you're listening to us, please make sure you're listening to us on WrestleMania Radio the cure for the common wrestling podcast and follow wrestle addict radio socials at addict underscore wrestle on twitter and wrestle addict radio everywhere else on social media smiley thank you again uh you get you get an opportunity to your own outro so where can they find you smiley you can find me on twitter talking shit at smiley bwr that's smiley with two e's 
There we go. Smiley with two E's. If, you, if you're watching it, her handle's on the bottom of her video because I put it there on purpose. Well, Tara Shock. Hey. Yeah, it's me. It's me. It's Willie T. I feel like I've done that intro outro in a long time. My name is Will Tara Shock T. It's in Thomas A R A S H U K, the founder of this glorious podcast. We're 20 episode strong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can laugh all you want, Smiley. You're welcome, by the way. Uh, no, you know I, my shenanigans. Because I literally just remember you saying that in the video we made in, in WrestleMania. And I'm back from Ben going, I, f- I don't know that white guy. <laughs> 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 I I, I, I I probably said that. Yeah, I I, I probably did. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not sorry, Will. It's- it's, uh, it sounds like something that we would yeah. do. But, hey, that's fine. It is what it is. It be what it be. It do what it do. Uh, find my shenanigans, talk with the Shuck podcast, anywhere where a podcast can be found. Got a lot of great guests, including a lot of military vets coming up in the next two weeks. So, a lot of fun stuff happening there. My birthday's tomorrow, yeah, so yeah. don't forget to wish me a happy birthday. Yay. Awesome. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. Happy birthday. Well, yeah, that's that's a thing. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It happens. You yeah, want, I'll, 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 I'm turning 28, and the age doesn't matter. I'll, I'll ruin your life on the post show about your age of 28. Um, so, yeah, when we get to the, when we come back next week, maybe we'll have another guest. Maybe we won't. We've got a lot of people who want to be our guests. I found a guy on TikTok that wants to be one of our, wants to be a guest host, uh, which would be pretty cool. I found someone in Miami wants to be a guest. Nice. So yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Which, which person on TikTok? Because I know too many of those people on TikTok. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. They 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 messaged us on TikTok, so I'll, I'll definitely get okay. back to them. So when we come back next week, we'll talk about the fallout from Elimination Chamber, and then we'll also try to figure out if Sami Zayn is alive, even walking, audible, conscious. Well, we don't know. We'll find out on Saturday, uh, and we'll talk about it next Wednesday. So until then, folks, goodbye, good night, thank you. Smiley for returning and oh yeah one more thing fuck you slack (laughs) fuck you slack we'll see you next week (laughs) this has been a Wrestle Attic Radio branded podcast